we have here a scarce early 20th century genealogy of the Barney family, or two of its key members. It's in this big, oversized, very heavy Morocco full leather binding like so. Oh yes, all the edges are gilt. The book must weigh 20 pounds. There's gilt rules along the foredge of the boards, as well as on the turn-ins like so. It's a silk uh, Moirin papers. The uh, book was at one point in the Forbes uh, Library uh, in Massachusetts, but it was deaccessioned. Uh, this Barney family uh, is, uh, lived in Springfield, or there close by, and thus has a Massachusetts Hampton County connection. The first two images in this book, there are a profusion of them, uh, are images of their house. There is the man himself. He was an inventor and a very wealthy man uh, as a result of his work. This title page uh, says that it's 1912. It was printed in Springfield. It's privately printed, limited edition. There's this embossed floral device on the title page. It begins with uh, other images. Here is a list of the contents. He uh, evidently uh, invented clamp-on skates, but he also is involved with breech-loading shotguns, bicycles, automobiles, a perforated machine, canoes, a life-saving shed, and so on. Uh, here is a list of all the illustrations, uh, including historical documents and so on. There are uh, views of the homes, and, and so on, but there's also images, look at all these plates, of some of the medals that he won in the various locations in Europe, in the United States. Uh, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. It is uh, quite a testament to his life. Uh, most of the plates were stamped by the institution on the reverse, but because the paper is so heavy, uh, that's uh, they don't, it doesn't show through. They, all the illustrations have these tissue guards. And what I'll do here is just start to flip through it a little bit to give you some rough idea of the contents, like these types of certificates in here. And here are the clamp-on skates that he uh, invented, like so, that evidently made him a very wealthy man. And here's an image of skating there. And here's some kind of an award certificate. And there's another miniature skate. And there he is, evidently. There he is again, going home, walking home. Oh, there he is skating. <laughs> there he is skating again. And well, here he is sitting down with his skates. <laughs> and there's his factory. Yes, and here's another image of skating. So we get past all of this, and we get to then, well, here are some medals that he won. Here's the, okay, we've seen this, I think, that certificate. Here's some more medals. Here's another certificate, some more medals, medals like this. Um, and here's another medal, like so. And here's some special ribbon. Look at that beautiful certificate. Yeah, that is beautiful. Probably Columbian Exposition. Yeah, World's Columbian Expo, 1893. Look at that. Looks like it's some sort of a diploma on fabric. And here is a different one. And here is some other advertisement. And here's some more images. Yes, beautiful images in here, really. San Francisco, this one, 1894. And this is the first breech-loading uh, shotgun made uh, the invention of the Everett Hosmer uh, Barney. Okay, and then we've got the saluting gun that he must have invented. Then he's got some early, it says right here, the first automobile made in Springfield ordered by Mr. Barney. So that's the first car made in Springfield, Mass. And there is the man who bought it. Here's his perforating machine, beautiful photogravure. And uh, that's for bank notes and checks and so on. Okay, here we are. Yes, and here is yet some more awards for him. Uh, yeah, more awards. Then now here we are, we're sailing. He's going to go sailing. He's going to win some trophies, win some cups. Yes, the vase. Yes, he won that one. He won that one. There he is again. Oh, and look, there he is with his captain's hat on. Yeah, and there's his sailboat. And yes, more awards. 
interesting, very interesting. In here, he and his, I believe, brother have signed, actually, one of these plates, one of these certificates uh, has been signed in pencil by them. Uh, and here we are now with, there he is with his life-saving sled for ice. And, okay, here we have another hand-colored photograph of probably his property in 1907. Then he, of course, built himself for his family a mausoleum, uh, which still stands in Springfield and uh, was donated with the land, I believe, as a park now in Springfield. Yes, there he is. Nothing like knowing where you'll be buried uh, in your mausoleum. Yes. And then there's an index at the rear, like so. Just a monumental book, probably done in, oh, maybe 100 copies or less, I should think. And this book is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.